Hello Earth Signs, Taurus, Cappy, Virgo. Welcome back to my channel and thank you for tuning into your reading. Who's got their eye on you? So we'll see who's interested, what we can learn about them, who is this secret little crush of yours. Um, we'll suss them out in this reading. So thank you for being here, liking, sharing, subscribing and signing up to membership. It does mean a lot. Let's jump straight into the reading and see how this person is presenting themselves for earth signs who's got their eye on earth signs okay the priestess of success you've got one successful person coming up here so March 18th to April 14th so you're looking at Pisces and Aries dates could be under the sign of a Pisces or an Aries or have those um have those traits Straight away, I feel like this is someone who's a competitor, okay? It's someone who's the alpha male of a group, or he's like he or she is the manager of a company. They've got this alpha energy about them. This is someone with a lot of ambition and a lot of success. So it's someone who's wealthy, who has a really, really good job. Um, you know, they're on the honor roll at college. This is someone who is like next level successful. They think ahead here. Um... They're humble though, okay? I get a humbleness and I get that underneath this person is quite vulnerable more than than they like to let on, I feel. Um, they're a great communicator or I feel like you've recently had a message or an email from this person. There's been something that you've heard from them. The bird is a messenger. Um, they could also work in events, communication, social media, anywhere where they're liaising with people and connecting is their forte. Okay, so it's something that they're really good at. They've got the gift of the gab, so they they like to talk, talk, talk. And they're very good at it. Um, I also feel like they're a free agent with the bird, though. Makes me feel like this is someone who's currently single and is available. Okay, Ten of Cups reversed makes me feel like they've come out of a relationship maybe fairly recently. Um, they thought this was going to be their forever person, but it didn't turn out that way. Uh, okay. They've got that moon energy. I feel the moon coming up here. So cancer energy. Um this person has been hurt, and I get that they've had a massive relationship ending recently. Um, King of Cups, they have strong emotions for you, Earth Signs. They could even be in love or love you, because the King of Cups is coming up next to them. They're resting, though, against that tree, which makes me feel like they're not being active. They're not being passive-aggressive about this love, even though they're such a you know, go-getter in other areas of their life. When it comes to love, I feel like they're more... On the back burner. Page of Swords is coming up. They could be younger than you. Um, they could be a little bit impulsive at times. I feel like this is someone who puts their foot in their mouth a lot. They don't have a filter. They say whatever they say. Anything goes. Uh, but they can be impulsive or sporadic at times. It's almost like this is a hyperactive kind of person. <laughs> right? Like sometimes you feel like they have like this attention disorder or something. Because they can't sit still. Or they're fidgety. Um, so it's that kind of energy. So I feel like someone ha who has recently had a breakup or a separation. And now I'm getting that they're available. Okay, Nine of Cups reversed. I feel like you might have even rejected them before. They've wished for you before. They've wished for something with you, but it just wasn't the right time. Or you just flat out said no. Maybe they asked you out, they hinted they want to take you to the Christmas party, um, they invited you to a specific um, event or place, but you weren't really interested, not at the time. And maybe they're coming back now and they've worked on themselves and now it's like, look at what you're missing, at signs. Look, look at all this. I do feel like it's someone that's fought to be with you before with that Ace of Swords. Um, or it's like they keep having to chase and chase you for some reason. I feel like they've chased you for a while. They've known you for a while with the Six of Cups. Um, cancer energy here. So this is someone very kind and caring underneath all of that exterior. There's a vulnerability and a kindness that they have with them. 
uh, with the moon. They're very intuitive or they believe in intuition. You might have even had a conversation about this with them before in, in that. They're also very close to a feminine figure in their life, such as a sister or a mother or an aunt. Um, they're more in tune with their femininity, I feel. They have a lot of people after them as well. I'm seeing competition or it's like their competitive nature that's coming out here. I also feel like this person at times felt frustrated with you because they have to comp compete for your attention at times. You just can't help it, can you? You're just too darn sexy. Um, they, they see this and it doesn't sit well with them. So I feel like this person has shown signs of jealousy to you before. Online, in the workplace, wherever you know them from, they've shown a little bit of jealousy, but... I don't think you ever really caught on, maybe, or maybe you just sort of stopped yourself and thought, mm, why would they do this? Like, why would they care? I'm not theirs. They're not mine. They've tried to like sort of display ownership or possessiveness of you is what I'm kind of getting. It could be a little bit forceful at times, but they have the king and the queen of cups. For some of you, I am getting someone from the past. So this, this could be an ex I'm describing. The past is here, past life, past love. You might have had kids with this person. You might have shared a family home. The, the moon is that history together. And the king and the queen of cups shows that at one point in time, the two of you loved each other very deeply. You had something very sentimental and very meaningful together. strong emotion next to this person i feel like they want to win you over or they feel like they have to win you over or win you back could be that you push them away you said you weren't ready you gave them an ultimatum something that they were doing wasn't working in this relationship so i feel like this is someone who's gone off they've bettered themselves they've leveled up they've changed up their exterior they've changed their life they went back to school they got a new job they did these things to get your attention and it helped that they were quite ambitious as well, though. I feel like that was the cherry on top of the cake here. Um, it was the icing on top of the cake. Um, but they've got a sharp tongue. So I feel like this person may have said something spiteful to you before. Um, and I feel like it's that ability to know their words and know where words hurt or run deep. And they've done something here to you before that has affected you. Either way, I still feel like they care about you. They're sort of watching and waiting in the shadows, but they have tried to fight for you before. So hopefully this is ringing true for a few of you watching and you might have your finger on who this person is exactly. But I'll leave it at that, Earth Signs. Thank you again, Taurus. Cappy Virgo it means a lot that you were here with me. Um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, sign up for membership if you like. Otherwise, I'm sure I'll catch you all very soon. So lots of love and bye for now.